welcome to this debate of the week, ladies and gentlemen. You have the right to say anything that's the good, the bad, or the ugly. Just like the old movie with Clint Eastwood, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> this debate of the week is about Rockstar Spud and how far can he go. Now, you've already probably seen my debate of the week and talking about... Hmm... Well, you know what that one was all about. How far can Dolph Ziggler go? I know a lot of people probably are not 100% fond about what I said. No one's really said any bad comments about it. But I said he could be easily a main event jobber. If he can't really get over in the main event completely, he could be a jobber there because we need good working talent. Now, with Rockstar Spud, this is an entirely different situation. I do not see Rockstar Spud being over as... A wrestler per se. I'm sorry. He's got talent. I know he has. But I believe his charisma is going to win him over more than his talent. Like a Jimmy Hart. Like a Bobby the Brain Heenan. Like a classy Freddie Freddy Blassie. Like a Paul Ellery. Who used to be a wrestler. And then became a manager for the Road Warriors. The Legion of Doom. The new Legion of Doom. You get my point. He could be something entirely different. It doesn't mean he has to be a manager. But as a wrestler, I do not believe he's going to get over. Now, I'll give you what I know about Spud. Coming in through British Boot Camp, the first one. I wasn't sure if he was going to make it. And when he did, I was going to go, well. And this is what I'm thinking to myself. Well, what are they going to do with this guy? I mean, he's got some charisma, but what, what are they going to do with him? And for a while, we didn't really see him much until Dixie Carter brought him out as her assistant. And he was doing all right for a little bit until they got paired with EC3. I mean, I, the reason I say they, EC3 was okay as a character. Rockstar Spud was all right as a character. But when they were brought together, it became magic. We had another team of comedians just like Bad Influence with Kazarian and Christopher Daniels. Those two were just comedy gold. It was so damn funny with them. But as time went on, you had to do something with them. So they decided to turn Spud face. And I wondered if Spud could actually pull it off. He was getting some pops. And people really wanted to see him turn face, but how far would they actually go with him? And after you seen this impact, he just got his ass handed to him by... EC3, baby, who is still the American hardcore icon of TNA. Of course, I got that out of, out of whack because he's so epic, you don't have to keep him in the mold that everyone expects him to. But in the end, when you look at a rock star spud, I see somebody who can easily become a manager. Who can easily be a comedian in the back. Think of a Santina Morella. Think of a Eric Young. Those guys are too... Eric Young, I really believe, was a much more funnier person than the Santina Morella was. He had more time to do it. and he, he, When he became serious, he was serious. When he was a jokester, he was a jokester. I believe Rock Spud is going to be mainly a jokester. He will not be mainly a wrestler. There will be times when he will get into the ring... And I do believe that he's going to win the X Division title at least once in the time he's going to stay with TNA. At least once. I don't know if he'll be a face and a heel at the time. I really believe that he should stay face. He is way over as a face. I mean, if they flip him to heel to let him become an X Division champion, I think TNA will make a serious mistake because unless the, the fans really get tired of him, he easily, with his comedic skills, with his charisma, can continually keep them engaged. The question to me is this. And the question to you, I also pose this. I've thought about this. How far would they really go with him? How far would they actually give him? Because even though he will never become a World Heavyweight Champion, he can be as beloved as a World Heavyweight Champion. He could win the X Division Championship and spotlight that title into a, a whole different dynamic than what we know as 
Look at Austin Aries. He gave relevance back to the X Division. Rockstar Sport could do the same thing, even if he doesn't have the real talent in the ring with his size. He may not be able to tell a great story, which he probably can. He doesn't have the, the basic talk set for most people. Because he's British, not everyone likes the British accent and attitude. I do, actually. So, to me, he has four of the five tools you can become a success. He's a good talker. He has charisma. As far as I can tell, he can tell a story in a ring, even though he can't really do a lot in the ring. And he has a good in-ring presence. To me, he has four tools, even though the two end ones are not very strong. In the end, we can have a character that is versatile, he's beloved, he's funny, and in the end, he does have an ability to work in the ring, and if he does well enough in the ring, he can easily get the mid-card title, which is the X Division, even though it should be the undercard. It is the mid-card title right now. So, I really believe this is going to be a very interesting year for him. So, you guys tell me below. How far do you think TNA is going to push Rockstar Spud? I know he's dealing with British Boot Camp 2. I have not actually had a chance to see it yet. Yeah, I'm sorry. I haven't had a chance. I've been kind of busy doing certain things. And I really haven't had a chance to see it. But I'm hoping to see it soon. Along with... And I will be considering doing a review of this, a Debate of the Week review, Lucha Underground. If you want me to do a Lucha Underground review of the first couple of episodes, I've been waiting, honestly, because I wanted to wait for there to be some body of work before I start actually looking at it and may give an opinion on it. But if you actually want me to do an opinion on it and start doing reviews with it, leave me a comment below. So I hope you enjoyed this Debate of the Week. Please give me a comment below and tell me, honestly... What do you think about Spud? You guys have a good day and have a good night. Peace out!